After traveling by train for just over an hour and a half, the Pope arrived to the city of Assisi for the interreligious gathering. He boarded a small bus along with other religious leaders before arriving at the Basilica of St. Mary of the Angels. There, the Pope personally welcomed all participants at the entrance. A choir of Franciscan friars sang throughout the greeting period. Cardinal Peter Turkson, who serves as the president of the Pontifical Council for Justice and Peace, is one of the main organizers. He showed a video that honored the first interreligious gathering back in 1986. During his speech, the Pope condemned the use of religion as a tool for violence. He also talked about regret. Come cristiano vorrei dire a questo punto, sì, nella storia anche il nome della fede cristiana si è fatto ricorso alla violenza. Lo riconosciamo pieni di vergogna. The Pope called for the reconciliation between countries that share a troubled past. He then denounced religious terrorism by saying that religion should never be used as a way to justify violence. Above all, he called for peace. Si tratta piuttosto di del ritrovarsi insieme in questo essere in cammino verso la verità, dell'impegno deciso per la dignità dell'uomo e del farsi carico insieme della causa della pace contro ogni specie di violenza distruccice, distruccice del diritto. In conclusione, vorrei assicurarvi che la Chiesa Cattolica non desisterà dalla lotta contro la violenza, dal suo impegno per la pace nel mondo. Siamo animati dal comune desiderio di essere pellegrini della verità, pellegrini della pace. Vi ringrazio. Leaders of other religions also spoke, including the leader of the Orthodox Church, Bartholomew I. Notre dialogue est donc réconciliation. Tous nous nous reconnaîtrons dans ces paroles de béatitude. Bienheureux les artisans de paix, car ils seront appelés fils de Dieu. The primate of the Anglican Church, Rowan Williams, talked about the power of having a strong relationship with God. We are here today to declare our will, or rather our passionate determination, to persuade our world that human beings do not have to be strangers, and that recognition is as possible as it is necessary because of our universal relation to God. Jewish and Muslim representatives also spoke. Rabbi David Rawson, who represents the Jewish community in the U.S., talked about a commitment toward peace. Muslim representative Musadi talked about the purpose of religion. May this gathering today reinvigorate all men and women of faith and goodwill to redound our efforts to make this goal a reality, the reality that brings true blessing and healing to humanity. The gathering in Assisi does not include a common prayer for all religious leaders. Rather, there will be a time set aside for personal reflection and prayer. <laughs>